The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him, and everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, they gave him the name Jesus, the name the angel had given him before his conception. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, there was this guy who was very restless, confused, blood, and he was uh, not very happy with his life. <laughs> she went, so he went seeking for a guru, someone who could help him to become restful, to become more peaceful. So throughout the year, he felt he was not in a good disposition and always not good. And so he went to this guru and said, <coughs> Guru, I want to have peace in my life. And this, this sage told him, Oh, come, come, sit down, we will meditate. And he told him, Please, I don't want meditation. That's all very difficult. I want something simpler than that. Give me a mantra. When I say the mantra all the time, I can get healed and become good. And so the Guru brought him to his ears. He said, bring your ear here. And then he whispered a mantra into his ears. And as he was leaving, <laughs> as he was leaving, the Guru stopped him and said, now when you do this mantra, probably you're sitting most of the time and in silence, don't think of a monkey. Don't think of a monkey, he said. And so he went back. He sat down to say this mantra and he remembered the Guru said, don't think of a monkey. And the image of a monkey came to his mind. This monkey disturbing me, why this monkey? And he continued, he couldn't pursue his, his meditation and he was having this monkey image coming in his mind repeatedly. Then he said, never mind, let me go and shower. After shower, I'll be fresh to do this mantra again. So he went to shower. When he went into the bathroom, somehow or other, he stand to see an image of a monkey everywhere. His monkey, where are this monkey coming from? The mon this monkey is his imagination, so strong already. And so he said, never mind, I'll shower and go and sit down. As he showered and came out of the bathroom and then his mother was there asking him, Hey, why? What's wrong with you? Ma, you look like a monkey, Ma. I say everywhere, image of monkey. <coughs> Never mind, Ma, it's okay. Never mind, I want to go and meditate. And he went to sit down in meditation. Or rather, to say this mantra. Again, this monkey was coming into his mind and picture and all that. So he couldn't pursue the... He went back to the guru. The Guru, and I said, Guru, come on, I cannot meditate. Now you sit, I cannot say this mantra. Now you sit down here and we will meditate together. The story went on. Now why I say this story, dear sisters and brothers, 365 days have passed. What were your thoughts? There are two types of meditation. One is stop thinking. Stop, can we stop thinking? Stop thinking of the monkey? The monkey means the many, many, many things that we are doing every day. My work, you know, I need to, this year, new year, I need to get a new car, probably I need to get a bigger house, probably I need to get a new girl, 
or uh, already I've got a girl and I want another girl, or probably I have to change my wife, oh no, not your wife, but you know, so many things, you have so many things in your mind, and probably career, and I want to excel in my business. These are all the distractions, and can you stop thinking? You cannot. It is artificial, it is, it is not stable for you to stop thinking, it is unstable, it is unnatural. And so we cannot stop thinking. This is the one type of meditation that we are called to meditate and stop thinking. But there is another type of meditation that is the one you hear in the gospel today. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. Dear sisters and brothers, what do you treasure in your heart? What do you ponder every day? What are you pondering on? If you have pondered right, if you have treasured the right things, today you will be the happiest person. Are you very happy? After walking out of this church, are you going to be happy? Tomorrow, are you going to be happier? Most of us not. We are happier when something comes along that is beautiful, that I can treasure, that I can have it. And these are all things of this world that we want to be happy with. But they are passing. And we are also passing soon. And so, there is another type of meditation that Mother Mary did. Diverted her mind. Divert your mind. Make the mind divine. Lift the mind to greater heights. Heights of sublimity. Sublime heights. That is what she is inviting us. And what is this? What is this? meditate on the image of the Lord. And that is what she was doing. She was so imbibed. She was so soaked. She was so pickled in God that God picked her. And that is the celebration that we are celebrating today. What are you imbibed in? What are you caught up with every day, all the 365 days? And when this happens, when this diverting of your mind towards the holy God, the quality of your life will change. You know what we think? When I've got my bachelor's last year and then a few years time, I'm going to get my master's and afterwards I'm going to my PhD. You think your quality of life will change? I guarantee you your life will never change. Only your livelihood. Maybe you get to get more money, a bigger position, but your inner life will never change. And so what changes the quality of your life, the mind with which you think, and what do you think? What about that you think every day that you are caught up with? And you know, when this, you know, I, if I were to ask of you, how many of you here, I must ask you the reverse, how many of you don't say bad words? Almost everyone, even if you say on the road, you say idiot, it is not a good word. A fool, not a good word. But we don't say that, we may say even worse than that. So when you are, when you are so much connected, like Mary, to God, to Jesus, these bad words from now onwards will not be there in your lips. Example, just one example. <laughs> Likewise, we are coming just in time for Mass. If you are so much in God, you will come far ahead of time to be seated in the church. And you, will do, you will, won't run off just immediately after Mass, just before the blessing. And I, another example. And I can go on with many, many, many more examples. Dear sisters and brothers, don't make resolutions because we don't keep our resolutions. I made 20 years ago one resolution. I broke it the next year. So I said, no more resolutions, but I want to make a difference to my life tomorrow. Yesterday is over. Today has begun, and today I want to make a difference to this life that I am doing, that I'm living. And you know, how to do this? Like, the, like Usain Bolt, I'm sure I've mentioned earlier, Usain Bolt was doing 9.56 seconds or 5.8 seconds in the Olympics, the 100 meters dash. Usain Bolt did not do it in one day, in six months. It could take in his entire life. It could take 10 years. <coughs> How did he do that? He drank enough water. He went to the gym. He made the sprints many, 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 many times. 
And he made a lot of sacrifices to be there to get those medals. His ritual supported him. His ritual of sports supported him to go to that heights. What supports you to meditate? Let's say if I would ask you, meditate for one hour a day. Are you five minutes or so cannot one hour to meditate? Never mind, let's make an assumption, just assuming only. Now, if you are going to meditate, you don't meditate for one hour after a busy day. I'm so restless, I'm so tired, and I want to meditate. You cannot. Don't do that. You cannot meditate when you are restless, when your mind is not in proper disposition. You have to prepare, like Usain Bolt, 23 hours you have to prepare in order to meditate for one hour. How? How? Come on, Father, 23 hours, ridiculous. Let me tell you, very simple. Sleep enough. Eat at the right time. Engage with the right people. Do the right things. Say the right things. And you remember God at all times. You won't falter so easily. You won't make mistakes very often. You won't get angry so easily. Your whole entire day will be so beautiful. And so, when you're so calm and cool, you go and sit in meditation. Of course, once in a while, somebody will knock you off your, off your head, never mind. Put that person aside, but I will go. That is the 23 hour of preparation for the 24th hour for me to meditate. That is what the meditators do. But if you go in restlessness, oh, after a tired day, I want to relax and meditate. No, go and watch TV. <laughs> go and take some ice cream. That is what you must do at other times. But if you want to meditate, it is a very classical experience. It is a beautiful, amazing experience that you will encounter. And that is what Mary did. Mary meditated the entire life. She was so much filled with God that her meditation is what she treasured in her heart. And dear sisters and brothers, if you want to develop your ego, your ego, you know, surround yourself with people who look up to you. you know, they'll say, oh, very good, la. so nice. You're very wonderful, you know, you're so good. Everybody praises you. And what happens? You inflate your ego. But if you want to develop yourself, surround yourself with people you look up to, listen once again, if you want to develop your ego, surround yourself with people who look up to you. If you want to develop yourself, Surround yourself with people you look up to. Mary looked up to God. Mary looked up to her own son. Mary was so caught up with them. Whom are you looking up to? Or whom are you waiting to look at you? So dear sisters and brothers, let us pray for this grace so that this new year, I will come a little closer to God. You know, every day when we pass to a new day, remember, you are one day shorter in this planet Earth. Your life is one day shorter, you know. Every second, for every minute for that matter, your life is one minute shorter. So we have finished 365 days, we are shorter in our lives. So we are going closer. Father, don't talk about death on a new year, Father. I was just telling someone, before Christmas, I had few funerals. After Christmas, a few more funerals. Just before New Year, day before yesterday, we had a funeral. Pray we won't have a funeral tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Because otherwise, the whole year will be funerals. So, dear sisters and brothers, let us not worry about when we die. Let us be concerned how we live. And live this life to the fullest. So that every single day you make a difference. What I was yesterday, what I was the last 365 days doesn't matter. What I am going to be today, right now, matters. What I am going to do tomorrow matters. And if you read Psalm 119, verse 27. Psalm 119, verse 27. For that matter, 
if you have not read the bible throughout this year start reading that will also bring me closer in my treasure of god make me understand the way of your precepts and i will meditate on your wondrous works make me understand the way of your precepts and i will meditate on your wondrous works so dear sisters and brothers let him lead you let him be the light of your life no one else not your husband not your wife not your children not your parents not even your priest let him and if he is in someone whom you can see the divine residing inside that someone cling to her cling to him or else depart so that you may grow you may grow in that closeness to the divine god and this life will flourish and will be transformed one moment of incident one moment of accident one moment of failure one moment of success one moment of wisdom one moment of knowledge will change you can change you let us pray for this grace we come into the new year and so what but go deeper and i guarantee you this year if you make that effort your life will flourish in a mammoth way beautiful big ways let us pray let us be confident let us urge ourselves let us become inspired by this god who is so loving by this mother who is so beautiful and let them lead us on as we go into this new year let us not be dampened let us not be broken let us not be shattered let us not be sulky let us rejoice because he is with you amen